everybody. Y'all welcome back to the Roadhouse, baby. Uh, had done plugs for a little while, y'all. Working everything. Working and sleeping, that's about it. Uh, anyway, good to be back. Uh, hope y'all didn't miss me too much anyway. Uh, we're going to do a simple little cook today, y'all. We're going to use the grill. Um, we're going to do some Asian pork chops. I found a recipe. And uh, I've never tried it. It sounds like it'd be okay. So, hey, why not? Right? So, I'm going to do a taste test. I have a cedar plate and I have a red oak plate soaking over here in the water. And uh, give them about, I guess, half an hour or so to soak. So, and uh, let me get my little measuring cups that round up. I'm going to come right back and we're going to make this marinade. And I uh, just got a little pack, about a pound and a half. It's, it's just four center cut pork chops. And uh, I'll get the pan over here and get a shot of that for y'all. But, uh, but actually, let me show y'all what, what all we're working with here. Y'all watch out for the earthquake again. Yeah, it's good to be back. Uh, you know, a little small package here and a cut pork chops here. Um, I think I'm going to make some seasoned rice to go with it. And uh, I've got some mixed vegetables. Marinade is going to be cost for orange juice, red pepper flakes. There you go, Keith Battag. Light brown sugar, olive oil, soy sauce, and some Dijon mustard. And uh, it actually called for a little shot of sesame oil. But um, I don't have that. And I didn't see it at the store, so we're going to go with what we got. I don't think it's going to really add or take away that much, you know. I wouldn't think. I don't know. I've never tried it. But anyway, we'll get this rounded up, y'all. We're going to make a marinade. We're going to throw the chops down there, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, welcome back. I got my little measuring cups in that rounder. So let's uh, pan like that. All right, y'all. Uh, this calls for a half a cup of soy sauce. I just got some local, you know, it's made by Crystal. Your local grocer there. Half a cup of soy sauce here. Get that in there. Maybe it'll cooperate with me. Anyway. Good thing we're not in a hurry, huh, y'all? blowing back here. It's kind of warm outside. But, uh, all right. Uh, a quarter cup of orange juice. We'll be at moonshine. Just a second, man. I got I got to break up a brown sugar. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. We made it back. I got my two tablespoons of brown sugar put in my bowl here. Being cantankerous today, you know. Y'all know how that stuff gets sometimes. All right. Anyway. Oh, uh, let's see. Half a cup of soy, quarter cup of orange juice, two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. We're gonna do that. Something like that, right? That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, let it land now. Got my pork chops over here washed. I didn't pass dry or anything. It's gonna get back wet anyway, so it's not a big deal, all right? Okay. Got that, and let's see. I didn't have any sesame oil, like I said, so. Um, Slip up I had. 
Is this stuff is stout, boy. All right, y'all, there it is. And that's pretty much the marinade, y'all. I'm going to read it back to you again. Basically, basically, uh, come here, camera. Basically, you're looking at, uh, Half a cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of orange juice. Yeah, I know you're always hungry. Y'all hear that thing, right? Uh huh. Come on, you two. So, where you at? Hang on. Had it you out, you better behave. Uh, anyway, sorry, y'all. Uh, half a cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of orange juice, two tablespoons of brown sugar, uh, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of sesame oil, which I substituted olive oil because I didn't have any, and then uh, half a teaspoon of red pepper crushed red pepper flakes. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to mix this up and I'm going to marinate my chops in that. Probably give them 30 minutes and while there's marinating, I'm going to light my grill. It'll be everything coming together by the same time. So let me do that. I'll be right back, y'all. Alright, gang. Y'all welcome back to the Roadhouse. Uh, grill's ready. Got my chops marinated right here. Uh, I did a little. I got my, uh, oh, what hell, what do you call it? Mixed vegetables are done. Uh, I cooked some rice, y'all. And actually, uh, what I did, uh, took the marinade and made a gravy with it. I just, you know, brought it up to a bowl and added a little, I just put a little awful flour in there. Um, with, you know, added a little water, thicken it up a little bit, but we got all that right there. But, uh, it, it's not too bad, y'all, really. And we got our chops ready to go. So I'm going to go sear them on the grill for a couple of minutes. I'm going to pull them off. We're going to throw the planks on there. We're going to get on with some cooking, so we'll see y'all in a minute. All right, gang, y'all welcome back. We uh, got our chops seared up. Uh, seared them two minutes on each side, pulled them off, and uh, we're about to go finish cooking this stuff on the plank, so I uh, get them doing a taste test. I got one red oak plank, I've got one cedar plank, and from the looks of it there, looks like they're about ready, so I uh, heated them up for, I don't know, three minutes, five minutes, something like that. But um, y'all hang loose, I'm going to throw these chops on here, we'll get a couple of pictures, and I'll be right back. Alright gang, y'all welcome back to the roadhouse. Everything is done, and I tell you what, it smells pretty good, y'all. Um, like I said, I took my, my marinade, you know, when I boiled it and everything, and uh, I had a little thickening agent to it there. Made a little gravy for, for the chops and the, and the rice, but I tell you what, let's try, it's no matter which one. They both go eat. Not sure which one this is. See how we did, y'all. What's think about that? Tell y'all what that mandate is good. Just enough heat. A little sweet. a little bit of that that red oak plank there. That's what we got on the other chop, y'all. That's not a bad game. It's different, but I tell you what, it's not bad. That little man there with that sweet now, he tastes good on the pork chops. It really does. I'm all about some rice and gravy, so we gotta check this out. See how we did here, y'all. Not too bad. It's, it's definitely Asian. And there's nothing wrong with that. I love. Chinese Asian food. Y'all, that's pretty darn good. I gotta be honest with you, that's that's not bad at all, gang. I'd eat that. And I'm going to eat that. But y'all give me that world and uh simple recipe, you know, real simple. Uh since I was gone so long, I just been so busy at work and most of been by myself. But anyway, it's good to be back and uh, good to have y'all back to the roadhouse. So uh next weekend, they ain't no telling what I'm cooking. I'll make something good. If y'all want to see me cook something, hey, give me a shout. Let me know. And uh, I'll do my best to get it. Throw it on the pit or in the oven or something. You know, and, uh, matter of fact, if it ain't stinky, I still need to do uh, a couple recipes you sent me. Uh, I think one was the uh, avocado fritters. 
love to try it. I love me some avocado. Anyway, look, gang, I'm going to wrap this up and get this uploaded. Thank y'all, all my new subs. Thank y'all very much. And uh, we'll see y'all probably next weekend.